Alright, so I was done with Germany. So then I got a job at Abercrombie and Fitch, you know, so I can get some discount on clothes and work with pretty ladies. So as I'm walking to work, you, there's like an upper level. I look down to the lower level. You know those little backpack things with the leash on it for the parents to walk their children like pets? <laughs> this short, chubby kid, he was jetting like, he saw, you know those little toy car stands in the bottom? He was jetting to it. His mom, he's like walking. She got jerked. She straight, boom, hanged him back. He's like, oh. He did that action right there. That was the funniest thing I ever saw that day. <laughs> have y'all have y'all watched Despicable Me? It was exactly like Despicable Me. Like the little short fat kid comes out like with his little jet. His mom just boom jerks him back. <laughs> but the kid was actually smart because he took it off. The real kid at the mall, he 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 didn't do that. But <laughs> that was the funniest thing I ever saw that day. I was like. Alright, so if y'all had my dad as a teacher, Mr. Tubes, y'all should know that he has have a bear video that he usually shows every year. Now, what would you do in a bear situation? Okay, kids are sleeping outside, we're sleeping inside, my dad wakes up early, or actually no, this is a third person view, you wake up early, and you see a bear walking to your campers. Now, your first reaction would be, oh my goodness, a bear is like right in front of my face, like five foot away. And what would you do? A, would you try to scare off the bear? B, get on your phone and call the park rangers. C, bust out your camera and camcorder and film the thing and take pictures at the same time. Or D, blow your whistle and try to scare the bear or wake up someone. Now. What do you think my dad did? He surely didn't do A, surely didn't do B. He did C and D at the same time. He's like recording. He's like, Dad, Dad, I'm getting some good stuff, man. Dan, because that was the Eagle Scout name that went with us. <laughs> so the bear gets up to the council that was sleeping outside with the kids, bites his leg. Like, not a whole, like, rocks. Just a little baby nibble, you know, just a little nibble, nibble. Just like that. And he bites his leg. What? That would be some crazy stuff. Wake up to a bear around your leg. <laughs> he blows a whistle, the bear runs off. And my dad has pretty good footage of the bear, and he's just, like, big and huge. And my dad actually made the news. He wasn't in the news, but his video made the news. It was on CNN and some other national networks, but that was probably the funniest thing ever. Hey guys, I got a question. Does this make me a certified killer or a deranged killer? Alright, so I shot my grandma. <laughs> that sounds bad when I say it like that, but I shot my grandma with a BB gun. You know those little Red Rider BB guns where you like that? Well, I shot her in the back shoulder with it all right so here's here's that story i was walking i was in the woods playing in my fort with my cousins and i was pretending i was in the navy seals or the marines or black ops or air force or whatever military if you're military whatever group you're in i was pretending i was in all of them so i pretended like i was jesus on the battlefield so i was just like all right target in sight I thought it was on safety. I go, boom! I do the realistic thing, and I accidentally pulled the trigger, and I actually heard a, and it hit my grandma. She's a, she turns around. She's a, who shot me with a baby gun? She's furious. I was like, oh my gosh, I am so dead. I dropped the gun. I'm jetting. I'm like, oh my god, oh. Don't play with guns, kids. Don't play with guns. So my my dad gets me, he puts him, puts me in his room, and he's like, he's he's cooling off because he was really, really angry about the situation. And he takes me to jail. He's like, Andrew, I called 911, man. They said I gotta take you to jail. So this was Christmas Eve too, you gotta remember that. Christmas Eve, I'm going straight to the Dayton police area and I didn't really go to jail, but 
I say I did because it sounds cool, you know, because I'm a rebel. No, no, I'm not. But anyway, I get talked to by this policeman about gun safety and how you shouldn't play with guns. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this isn't this ain't a yeah, yeah situation. I mean, don't don't shoot people, kids. Don't shoot people. It's bad. But then later, me and my dad laughing about it on the ride back home. And my dad's like, hey, it would be funny if they actually thought you went to jail. So I hid in my neighbor's yard for like 10 minutes. And my grandma and my cousins actually believed I went to jail. I pop, I sneak in the house. I'm like, yeah, Toops is back all day, every day. One bed, no blanket, one pillow, really cold. I wake up, I took a nap. You ever been night night? You ever been night night? I was, <laughs> I did a Kevin Hart right there. I was like, <laughs> I was laughing, and then I was like, yeah, I prison breaked out of that. I was a Michael Schofield. Chance, if you're watching, shout out to that. <laughs> All right. So the uh, real true meaning of this story is, don't shoot your grandma with the BB gun, or else you might go to jail. And don't play with guns, because you might actually shoot something that you intend not to shoot at. Alright guys, my last story. It's not going to be the best one, but it's up there in the funny column. Now, most of your Christmas is pretty normal, right? Wake up, wake up your parents, you open your presents. Well, my Christmas had a little twist. This was the day after I shot my grandma with a BB gun, so my dad decided to pull a prank on me. So, what I get for Christmas was math books, rulers, pencils, school supplies pretty much. I was really, really beat up. I was furious. Like, I just started opening. I was like, yeah, a lot of presents for me. I opened. I was like, I picked one. I was like, oh, man. I started, like, shaking and everything. It sounded like a giant book. I bust over the bottom. I'm like, oh, my God. Are you serious? I just threw the book back. And I kept, I got about five math books, uh, two rulers, about four pencils, actually sharpened, and then a card. And the card said, Merry Christmas, this is for shooting your gram, so I'm going to make you do some stuff just for payback. Love Santa, actually, a.k.a. Dad. So I did about five math problems during Christmas. You don't work during Christmas. It's un-American. It's opposite American. It's Chinese. They work all the time. They don't do anything but work and make stuff for us Americans so we can be lazy and don't have to do it. So I do my math problems. And then I had to go on a scavenger hunt. Who does that? I have to go on a scavenger hunt. I went from the tree, living room, my room, laundry room, living room, back to the tree, fireplace, out to my mailbox. Back inside, laundry room, to the fridge, back to the laundry room, to the car, from the car, to my dad's room. I finally got my presents, and I got a bike, and that's pretty much all I remember was the bike. And that bike is broken right now, so, yeah. But, I hope y'all liked my video, guys. I love y'all. If I don't know you, I still love you. I hope y'all have a very nice rest of the year Jesus is real God bless love y'all and please coming back